Our talk is on the implementation of the biodiversity management plan for Pickers Girls Reed Frog, the second year. The biodiversity management plan was gazetted by the Minister of Environmental Affairs on the 2nd June 2017. Isambela Kazid in Wildlife was made the lead implementing agent, which means we have to report on progress, and that's why I'm giving this talk today. The overall goal, goal of the biodiversity management plan is to improve the conservation status of Pickers Girls Reed Frog from endangered to ultimately least concern and to improve its protection. The plan has five objectives. The first is create and maintain an enabling environment for stakeholders to participate in the management of the species. The second objective is to prioritize key habitats for Pickers Girls Reed Frog um, for management. The third objective is to implement habitat management programs. The fourth objective is to um, identify and conduct relevant research, monitoring of populations, and the development of translocation um, protocols and habitat rehabilitation protocols. This fifth objective is to develop, develop educational and um, um, awareness campaigns for the species. Under each objective are several actions, and the actions I'm going to talk to you uh, today are the actions that have taken place between May 2018 and April 2019 this year. This map indicates some of the sites at which uh, Pickers Girls Reed frog, Frogs are found and which, is which are mentioned in this talk. The species ranges in the northeast from St. Lucia through Mtanzini Umlalazi Nature Reserve um, down to the Sambiti Eco State, um, Mount Moreland, near to which is the River Horse Valley through to Isapingo, to the west of which is Adams Mission, um, then through Prospecton, um, Woodenham, and down south to around Cezela. The action to get priority areas included in district and municipal systematic conservation processes has resulted in the draft environmental management framework for the King Ketwayo district municipal area including the wetland areas where Pickers Gulls Reed Frog is known, and also um, a potential habitat for Pickers Gulls Reed Frog where the probability of occurrence of the species is greater than 50%. The strategic environmental management plan includes measures that will have to be implemented to protect and manage these areas. The priority Pickers Girls Reed Frog sites in the Itikwini Metro are included in the Metropolitan Open Space System, and the Quadacusa Local Municipality has developed a biodiversity and open space management plan, which includes and by default protects the current areas and known and potential Pickers Girls Reed Frog habitat. Action three to implement appropriate, manage, appropriate management at sites with Pickers Girls Reed Frog frogs has resulted in annual wetland health assessments at two sites, ecosystem goods and services at six wetland sites, and, and also the development of an alien plant management plan. Also, new sites where the frog species is now known to occur have been found. There's an extensive 500 hectare wetland and swamp forest area in the Adams Mission region. And um, work has been done towards formally proclaiming this area as a protected area, hopefully by 2020. But in the interim, there's a uh, biodiversity agreement with the community to protect this area. And um, there's some uh, management activities happening. 
Woodham, uh, the Woodham site is another wetland that is going through the biodiversity stewardship process and a conceptual rehabilitation plan for the wetland has been developed with two options. Small business development has been occurring and happening at Isipingo and this also includes uh, vegetable gardening and uh, vegetable boxes. Um, previously, vegetable gardening was done in the wetland where the Pickers Gills reed frog occurred, and now um, the vegetable gardening and vegetable boxes as actually improve the socioeconomic conditions of the people who are gardening vegetables. The action to conduct a genetic assessment of the overall Pickers Gills reed frog population has resulted in a publication this year in the African Journal of Herpetology, and I'll refer to this a bit later. The action to undertake research on the habitat requirements, breeding biology and general husbandry of Hyperolius Pickers Gilly has resulted in the development of a husbandry manual. This manual is nearly complete and hopefully it will be published in a year or so. Population monitoring has been implemented at five sites, Mount Moreland, Woodenham, Isipinga, Adams Mission, and at Sambiti, which is known as a benchmark site because it has the permanent deployment of song meters. We are um, waiting for the results to be analyzed. The action 421 is to establish protocols under the IUCN guidelines for potential translocations and reintroductions of Hyperolius pickersgilli. The capture of pickersgill's reed frogs uh, wa was done at either large populations or at a doomed population in order to minimize impact on the wild population. So initially we captured frogs at Mount Moreland, which is a large population, and we also captured uh, parental breeding stock at Prospecton, which is a doom population because the area is going to be part of the dugout port uh, of Durban. Later we also captured adults for the breeding program at St. Lucia and at Adams Mission, both of which are large populations. The captive breeding population is held in a biosecure building at the Joburg Zoo to prevent diseases being passed from other uh, reptiles and amphibians to the frogs. Sampling for chytrid fungus is done at the site of capture. Immediately the frogs arrive at Joburg Zoo and one month before captive bred frogs are released to the wild. A fecal float is also done weekly um, from six weeks before captive bred frogs are released to the wild. Looking at the chytrid fungus test results, 1% of the captive population tested positive for chytrid fungus, but we now think that this was a false positive test. And in comparison, 5% of the wild frogs sampled uh, carried chytrid fungus. Um, and these frogs were found in three localities, Mount Moreland, Isipinga, and Mtanzini. Between six and eight weeks prior to the release of captive bred frogs, the environmental conditions are changed. They're manipulated so as to more better simulate the environmental conditions at the release sites. The frogs are subjected to stresses so that they'll be prepared for the stresses that will face them in the wild. And there's just a few of the parameters that are changed. The genetic study, as I mentioned earlier, showed that captive bred Pickers Gulls reed frogs can be uh, released at any suitable site within the natural distribution range of the species. We chose metamorphs and adults for release, as these are the only life cycle stages that can be monitored in the long term. Um, they're the life cycle changes, uh, stages that can be most easily transported the long distance between Gauteng and the KwaZulu-Natal coast. And they are relatively easy to monitor through calls and visible implant elastomer markings. The captive bred frogs were to be released initially at the 
two sites where the parents were initially obtained. That is Mount Moreland Prospectin. But the Prospectin wetland was uh, dry at the time of release. And um, also because it was potentially a doomed population, we decided to release all the captive bred 18-month-old frogs at the Mount Moreland Froggy Swamp. And this was done on 17 September 2018. 60 were released at a ceremonial site where um, there were dignitaries and the media present. And the, this was done in the afternoon. And the other 160 were released in the evening at the nocturnal release site, which is shown near the middle of that Google Earth image. That's Mount Moreland on the southwest side. Monitoring of the release frogs has been done on a couple of occasions, a few occasions, at the nocturnal release site, and um, only on a couple of occasions at the ceremonial release site. Um, unfortunately, we've only uh, recited one of the release frogs, and that is at the ceremonial release site. Monitoring is ongoing, though. 50 adult Pickers schools reed frogs were released on the 5th of March 2019 at the River Horse Valley site. This is a rehabilitated wetland, and um, the riverine system is continued to, uh, uh, people are continuing to rehabilitate that further, and we're hoping that in the end, the whole system to the northwest will be rehabilitated towards the now destroyed type locality which is indicated by a magenta spot there on the northeastern side of that Google Earth image. The action to develop an awareness campaign and educational program has resulted in 600 learners um, going through the frogs in the classroom program at the Adams Mission and Isipinga areas. Four nature guides have been trained in preparation for the KwaZulu-Natal frog route, which is under development. And the Leap Day for Frogs was held on the 28th of February 2019 and then attracted about uh, 3,000 participants. Media coverage of the implementation of the biodiversity uh, management plan has been quite extensive in the social media, through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, online, in the printed press, and also um, on national and international television. So finally, we want to thank all our partners and funders and everyone who has assisted with the implementation of the second year of the biodiversity management plan.